Okay, I have an equation here, um, or a function. I don't know. I'm not very good at math words. Um, 21 parentheses times 2 minus x, close parentheses, plus 12x is equal to 44. And our goal here is to try and get x by itself. The first thing that I'm going to do is try and simplify this by getting rid of the parentheses and combining like terms. So let's get rid of this parentheses by distributing the 21 in to it. So 21 times 2 is equal to 42. And 21 times negative 1x is equal to negative 21x. And I'm going to bring everything else down. Do, do, do. Sorry, it's a little sloppy. Ding, ding, ding. Hopefully you can still kind of understand what's going on. Okay. So now I'm going to try to combine like terms. I have negative 21x and I have positive 12x and they're being added or to each other. So negative 21x plus 12x is going to be um, negative 9x and I do that by the signs are opposite so I know that I'm subtracting and 21 minus 12 is 9 but this 21 was negative and it's way bigger than 12 so I know that my number is still going to be negative it's like I went 21 feet below sea level and then I came up 12 feet so that makes sense that it's still negative 9x it's still below sea level okay now I have to write everything else just to make sure I don't lose track of everything. Okay, now I have all the like terms together. I want to try and get x by itself. And the way that I do that is I look as far from the x as possible and I um, try to get rid of that number. So 42 is really far from the x. I'm going to subtract 42 from this side and do the same thing to the other side because 42 minus 42 is just zero. I don't have to write anything there. Um, I can just bring down the negative 9x and that's going to be equal to 44 minus 42 is 2. Um, my last step I'm going to do over here. Uh, running out of space, I guess I have to write the 2 a little smaller. Um, in order to get rid of this negative 9, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 9 because any number over itself is equal to 1. And if I can make this equal to 1 and it's being multiplied by something else, then that something else gets left alone. So I write that down there. And I should have done this. So I have, I've divided negative 9 on both sides. I'm just rewriting it down here now. 2 divided by negative 9. And that is my final answer. You can also say negative 2 over 9. That's the same thing. So there is my answer for x.